This video is all about the differences between mono and stereo in field recording. I will share with you three different stereo recording techniques and tell you what they are each good for and also how they compare to a mono recording. To get the basics out of the way, stereo setups record sounds with two separate channels that are each panned to the far left and right for playback. Mono, on the other hand, is only one source, which is normally perceived as in the center or on only one side depending on the routing in post-production. So this is important to understand. Your headphones that you hopefully use to listen to this video are in stereo. And I mapped this mono source, the Rode NTG5 shotgun microphone, within that stereo field. Now, for field recording, you can generally say that if you want to achieve a more natural sound, stereo is often the better option because it basically imitates our natural hearing with two ears. Personally, I use stereo for ambiences, for movements, or for car passbys. Mono I use for vocals, close-ups and details or special effects. Now, if you only have one mono mic, you can also do fake stereo recordings. If you, for example, have a continuing sound, such as noise or traffic or something similar, you can record it for a longer period of time and just cut it in half. Put the halves on two separate channels on top of each other and pan one hard left and one hard right. And there you have your fake stereo recording. But for now, let's actually go outside and do some real stereo recordings. So I'm now here in this beautiful forest. It is a little bit foggy today because we have fall now in Switzerland. And I'm going to set up all my microphones right here so that I can show you the different stereo setups and also compare them with mono. So let's do that right now. So the first setup that I want to show you is the ORTF setup. It's the setup right here. And right now I'm using the Rode M5s for this setup and the stereo bar also from Rode. Now the ORTF setup is just two cardioid microphones located in an angle of 110 degrees going out from each other. And the capsules of the microphones, they have to be 17 centimeters apart from each other. Now this setup is especially good if you want to do some ambience recordings, which should resemble the human hearing a little bit. So when you listen to recordings with this setup, it sounds quite natural and very cinematic also, I think. Now, the setup that we have right here with the Zoom H5 is the XY capsule. And basically these are also two cardioid microphones which are located in an angle of 90 degrees and the capsules of the microphones, they should be exactly on top of each other. The difference compared to the ORTF setup with that one is that you have a little bit more a narrow field and the stereo field is not that wide but compared to the ORTF setup you have very good localization so when I walk around for example I'm going to demonstrate to you that later you can hear very clearly where I am on the stereo spectrum with that setup. The third setup that I want to share with you is the AB setup it's also called spaced pair sometimes and it's just a pair of two omnidirectional microphones, so a round characteristic. I have it on the stick right here. So it's the Lohm Micro Uji, a stereo pair of these two. And with that recording, you get a really wide sound, but also a bit diffuse. So with that setup, everything is perfectly matched so that it resembles the human hearing and everything is just like very even to smooth out, right? But with these microphones, sometimes you get a little bit a hole in the middle. So there's just stuff on the, on the sides, but in the middle, there's nothing anymore. Also, another problem that you sometimes have with this setup is that you have phase cancellation. So that basically means that if you would fold this into mono, you will miss some frequencies. And yeah, sometimes you just have to listen to this and adjust it a little bit. And now, of course, I also have the Rode NTG5 shotgun microphone. This is just a mono microphone. So this is only one source. And this is right now connected to the Zoom H5 on the back. So we have here the stereo setup and the mono setup going down here into this input. And the ORTF setup and the AB setup are right now going into the Mix Pre-6. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk around a little bit and I'm going to switch between these microphones and write it on the screen which microphone is activated so then you can really hear the difference quite good, right? So with the XY capsule by Zoom you have a very good localization, you can hear me very good where I am but all the other sounds are a bit narrowed down. With the ORTF setup, with the M5s, you have very wide sound, very natural sound. But I myself, maybe I'm a little bit diffuse, so maybe you cannot really spot me on the stereo field. And we also have the AB setup. So this one is the widest setup, I guess. It's also the most extreme and also a little bit experimental. And in the end, we also have the mono microphone, so the NTG5. With that, you cannot hear me walk around. And when I switch to that, you can, yeah, everything just collapses and gets very boring. So the difference is quite extreme if you switch from stereo to mono. But yeah, I think now we get the picture a little bit between the sounds of these four microphones, actually. Now, of course, there are also other stereo setups for field recording that I couldn't show you right now. One very popular one is the mid-side technique, for example. It is where you have a microphone which records the middle. It is a cardioid microphone. And then you need a microphone which is in the polar pattern of a 8. And you need that to record basically the left and the right side. So you just have to move that in a 90 degree angle. And this will then record the sides. And in post-production you can then decide how much of this side information you want to add to your center so this gives a lot of flexibility and also it is 100% mono compatible so you could just fold it down to mono and you will not lose any information so I think that's actually really cool now if any one of you actually has some experience with MS recording for field recording please let me know in the comments I would be very curious to hear also just your experiences with that setup for field recording and if it's something that's worth considering. Now there's one more setup that I want to show you and I didn't show you until now because for some it's not considered stereo and the reason for that is because there's some more dimensions added. In stereo you just have the left and right but with that you also have the front, the back, the top and the bottom and what I'm talking about is of course binaural audio. So this one right here is the SR3D binaural microphone and it has a ear on both sides, so basically the sound gets reflected off the ear before it hits the microphone capsule. But in the end, it's just two microphones which are inside of this box right here, and it should resemble the human hearing, right? So when you listen to recordings with that with headphones, you should be able to hear if something comes from the top, from the front, from the back. And I'm going to show you now also a recording with that and compare them with the ORTF setup so you get a little bit the difference of these two setups. All right, so now I'm just gonna talk also a little bit that you can hear my voice moving around. And now I'm in the front of the microphones. So you could hear me on the front maybe a little bit. And now I'm walking a little bit to the back of the microphones Now I'm standing in the back of them And this right here is actually also a video where I talk about the SR3D binaural microphone A bit more But for now I'm just gonna keep walking And Theoretically you should also be able to hear if something comes from below you So now I sh it should sound like, like I'm, I'm below you, right? And also on top so now I'm standing above you. All right, so I hope that I could teach you something about stereo or mono in field recording. If you want to keep watching, I also have this video right here where I record some sound with the AKG C411. It's a contact microphone, so you can stick it to surfaces. And yeah, see you there. Thanks for watching.